Okay, guys, so we all know Jace Mundell, right? You know, he was the lead developer for Black Ops 3 Zombies, the Black Ops 3 campaign, and he did a bit in Black Ops 2 as well alongside Jimmy Zielinski, and he obviously created Origins and Mob of the Dead, and he worked on the campaign a bit. So we know what Jace Mundell does. We know basically his role. So obviously, Treyarch's next game coming in two years in 2018, they're developing, they're getting ready for this game. They're working on it right now. They're already a year into development of Black Ops 4, World at War 2, whenever this next Treyarch game is going to be called. But the thing is here, I was watching this Mr. Ralph Waffles video, and he was wondering, he tweeted out apparently, oh, I wonder what these guys are doing right now, I wonder what Mark Lamy is doing, and according to him, he got information that they're actually switching a bunch of job positions around Treyarch in the studios themselves. So what that means is, specifically, Mark Lamia is no longer the sort of lead director of Treyarch, whatever his job position is. He is no longer that. Let me see exactly. The studio head at Treyarch. He's no longer just the studio head at Treyarch. Um, and Jason Mondell is actually the co-studio head, which is like really weird because he's not with zombies necessarily. Jason Mondell is now one of the main overseers of the whole game for the next Treyarch game, which is really, really interesting. And you think about it, you think about Jason Mondell, you think zombies. At least with Black Ops 3, we've come to know him for zombies. We've come to know him for all these cryptic things and all these Easter eggs and those Roth Waffle videos and all this insane stuff that he was talking about. It's sort of weird because he was saying that, you know, maybe if he does any interviews with the zombies director in 2018 for Treyarch's next game with, regarding new zombie maps and stuff like that, DLCs, it may not be with Jason Mundell. And if you think about it, it's just such a weird feeling. So we have to make some sense of this. So what is the whole deal now? What does this mean for zombies? Who could be replacing him? Well, we have a couple different options here. So again, either the overseers, the studio heads of Treyarch will be Jason Mundell and Mark Lamy because obviously Jason Mundell apparently is a co-studio head now. So the other co-studio head could be Mark Lamy as well. Maybe that means that Jason Mundell will partly lead the game, the whole entire game, multiplayer zombies and campaign, but then also partly help out with zombies as well. So he'll still have some sort of role within zombies. He'll still be looking over at what's going on. He still will have, he'll still have his vision for the storyline, for the locations, for where he wants to go, how he wants to continue the storyline from Revelations. I do think it is pretty important that he does that because obviously we need some sort of continuity within this storyline. We can't just have it jumbling around different developers and different storylines. It's just not going to make sense. So I do think he should so he should have some sort of overseeing say on zombies, even if he is now, well, I guess, you know, he's the co-studio director lead for Treyarch. So I guess he does have some say he leads the game. He partly at least leads the whole game. So I don't know. It would be cool if he still was in that position, but now we have to think about it. Let's just say he's completely detached from zombies. Let's just say he never goes to zombies again. He never works on zombies and he is just the full game studio head now. Where is he gonna go? What is he gonna do? And who, we're not, well, really not that, but who is gonna come in and fill the place of Jason Mundell as the zombies lead developer or campaign, but we're obviously focused on zombies. Jimmy Zielinski, anyone? Jimmy Zielinski, can we get it? Can we get it? Jimmy, Jimmy Zielinski, come on. Let me see, let me see in the comment section below. Jimmy Zielinski, okay. Um, I, I don't know how much sense this is gonna make. I don't know what he's doing right now. I don't know the whole situation of really why he was fired. I know there was some stuff regarding that. I, I, I don't know entirely what the deal is, but look, I, I, I do think if anything, I think we need, we need to all come together and agree this is more focused on the future of zombies and the storyline and anything like that. And if, if you if you would want anyone to fill the position of Jason Mundell as the zombies lead developer, if you would want anyone, you would have to say Jimmy Zielinski. You had to say Jimmy Zielinski just based on the fact that he brought zombies to what it is. He made all these classic maps. Obviously, some questionable stuff with Transit. Um, but look... This is Jimmy Zielinski, man. He used to be the OG guy within Zombies back in Black Ops 1, Black Ops 2, World of War, whatever. I mean, you know, partly World of War. I, I forgot the whole developer cycle with that game. Um, but he played a huge part within Zombies. And if you think about something that understands the storyline, especially understands the original storyline, so not like 
I know a lot of people like the Black Ops 3 storyline, but Jimmy Zelensky, he's, he's not all about this Cthulhu stuff and Shadow Man stuff and all this crazy, I, I don't know, it, it seems to get too much with some people, and some people just like the classic old storyline with, you know, the evil Riktoff and blowing up the earth, all this insane stuff. I mean, that was a really, really fun storyline to go through. Again, there's so many secrets from World of War, Black Ops 1, even Black Ops 2 that have still been uncovered and we just don't know what they mean and have still been hidden and we don't know what they mean as well because obviously we don't know where they are, obviously. So there's just so much insane stuff that we need to understand. We need to know so many ciphers that have been uncovered, but we just don't understand what they mean. Like J Jimmy Zielinski, if, if we were pissed with the Revelations Easter Egg cutscene, for the next Treyarch game, if Jimmy Zielinski is the lead of it, I think he would really give us a bunch of information and really set us back on the storyline that we were sort of moving with for, you know, the rest, I guess, I guess from the end of Buried and before that, all these other Black Ops 1 games, Black Ops 1 maps and all this insane stuff, that whole storyline could really be set back on track and continued if we get Jimmy Zielinski. Now, Jimmy Zielinski would have to sort of understand the new wave of zombies with the Cthulhu stuff and the Apothecant stuff and the multiverse and sh the shadow, you know, uh, Monty's new worlds that he created. So he would have to probably create his game within Monty's new world. But I, I think he can work with it and I think he can do a really good job with actually creating that world and making it a part of his own and making it seem like it was from before with the old Black Ops 1 map. So Jimmy's, Jimmy's Lens Game Man, the chances of it happening I, I, I just don't know. I really don't know. I, I think, again, like I said, if you if we would want anyone to take the lead of zombies, it would be him. But we still don't know 100% if Jason Mundell is actually truly leaving. You know, it's it's sort of this thing that he's the studio, co-studio head now. What does that mean? Is he gone from zombies? Is it going to be a thing where... Now, here's the last idea, and I, I hinted at this before. Is it co-Jason Mundell? Koji Mizelinski, that, that's gonna, that's gonna, honestly, that's gonna be an interesting feud sort of collaboration at the same time because they have two completely different sort of perspectives on zombies. Not, not completely, but you think about where Jimmy Zelinski was taking the storyline. And then you take you think about the beginning of Black Ops Three, where Jason Blundell just turned the storyline to that you know whole sort of horde of what was it the Apothecons invading the world and all this insane stuff. I don't know whatever the hell happened there. Um, you, you can tell there was a huge shift in what happened within Zombies, and it definitely was really cool. But them being co lead developers on Zombies, I, it would be very interesting. I, I mean, I don't know. It would be a very, very interesting thing. You have to think about, like, is it, like, Mob of the Dead mixed with Ascension? Is it stuff like that? Is it, like, the attribute of Jimmy Zielinski with the attributes of Jason Mundell? Now, you, think, you have to think about this as well. What are the attributes of Jimmy Zielinski? And then what are the attributes of Jason Mundell? How, how would they create a map together that would be, like, the perfect map? Could it be the perfect map? I, I don't know. I, I really don't know. Jason Mundell... I think he's more in tune, or not really in tune, but you know, more, he just wants the storyline fleshed out in a certain way. And, and Jimmy Zelensky, probably a bit more simplistic. I, I think with a lot of his maps, you can tell that he takes a bit more of a just, this is a storyline, here's a cool map, here you go. And I think a lot of people did enjoy that. A lot of people have been yearning for that. The classic zombies maps, bring back the classic zombie maps. Jason Mundell, a bit more interesting. You see a lot of his zombie maps, even going back to Mob of the Dead, Origins, you know, and all of these Black Ops 3 zombie maps, a ton of storyline, a ton of just insane stuff packed into it. A lot of like parts and stuff to build, a lot of stuff to do, a lot of different things to just, just random little Easter eggs to do. And I think for a lot of people, that was cool and it gave it a lot of content. But then for a lot of people, a lot of Jason Mundell's maps, they thought it, it was so tedious. There's, there's, when you play a Jason Mundell map, there's always so much you have to do, so much you have to build. But if you play a Jimmy Zielinski map, you just go through and you can literally go and play a fun game without having to do all that stuff. You can do the Easter egg, you can learn some storyline as well. 
but you don't need to have to build, you know, the gas mask and this and that, the shield every single time, all this insane stuff. You didn't need to do that every single time. Um, you know, Jim Zelensky, you just go in and have fun. But again, positives and negatives to both of their careers and their maps. And again, all zombie maps are fun. All zombie maps are fun. But if you think, what would a zombie map be like with Jimmy Zielinski and Jason Mundell together? I, I, I don't know, man. I really don't know what they could do. It, it's it's such an insane thought to have. It's like, I, I don't know. It, I feel like it could be one of the craziest zombie maps ever or the craziest series ever. Personally, I don't think, I don't know how they would work together. I, I just don't, I don't know. For, first of all, I don't even know if Jason, um, Jim Zielinski is even coming back. I, I mean, it's just, it's just a random thing to think about. If he was, we would want him. So there, I don't know. I already said that, but it's just, it's such a weird thing to think about. But anyway, what would the map be like? No clue. I have no clue. I guess you can say it's in the middle of simplistic and, you know, I guess jam packed with content. So it's like slightly packed with content. I, I I don't really know where they would go with that, honestly. Is it like the perfect balance of buildables and simplicity or, you know, map design or the Easter eggs and storyline? I, I just don't know where they would go with that. Would Jimmy Zielinski try to tune down the Apothecon stuff for the next game? That'd be something interesting to think about. Um, I don't know. A lot, a lot of different things we can see from this. Again, it, it's really freaking exciting. I, I just want to make Black Ops 4 videos, honestly, because I just want to talk about it. There's so many possibilities, so many things to really think about for this next Treyarch game. It's just freaking insane, man. It's freaking insane. And this is very early on. You never know. Maybe maybe this is some random thing. Maybe Jason Mundell will go back to being the lead of zombies. And if that's the case, it still would be fun. still would be cool. But I do think it's going to be freaking insane to see what is actually going to happen when this game releases in 2018 or when we get more information um, throughout the year. Uh, so, you know, we'll, we'll just, like I said, we'll just have to see what happens. So thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys did enjoy this video. Let me know, guys, think in the comment section below, man. Jimmy Zielinski, could he return? Jason Mundell, are you sad that he's leaving or potentially leaving or potentially taking a part-time role in zombies and whatever? I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. I, I think it's pretty cool. I think it's going to be pretty interesting. I, I, I don't know. I just want zombies, honestly. Whether, whether it's Jason Mundell or Jimmy Zielinski, I just want good zombies, man. I don't know. That's, that's all I really want. So we'll just see what happens. So, yeah, that's going to be it. And I'll see you guys later. Goodbye.